Australia. A vast and diverse land that captivates the imagination. It's a land of wide deserts, ancient rainforests, and stunning beaches that stretch as far as the eye can see. Each landscape tells a story of time and transformation. Australia is packed with unique plants and animals, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth. From the towering eucalyptus trees to the elusive marsupials, the biodiversity here is simply astounding. But how did all this incredible diversity come to be? How did Australia become a land so distinct and rich in life? It's because Australia has been on its own for a long, long time. Isolated from other continents, it has evolved in splendid isolation. Millions of years ago, Australia split from a massive supercontinent called Gondwana. This monumental event set the stage for the unique evolutionary path that Australia would follow. Being separate allowed Australia's plants and animals to evolve in their own unique ways, adapting to the diverse environments found across the continent. This isolation allowed amazing creatures to thrive, creating a living tapestry of life that is both fascinating and beautiful. Picture kangaroos hopping across the vast plains, a sight that is quintessentially Australian, or the platypus, a creature so unique it seems almost mythical. This egg-laying mammal feeds its young with milk, a true marvel of evolution. And then there are the parrots, bursting with colors that seem to capture the very essence of the Australian landscape. Australia is a living testament to the power of evolution, a place where life has taken on forms that are both extraordinary and enchanting, it reminds us of the incredible adaptability and resilience of nature. Maybe the most famous Australian animals are marsupials. These unique creatures are known for their distinctive reproductive process and their ability to adapt to various environments across the continent. From the arid outback to lush forests, marsupials have made their mark in every corner of Australia. Unlike most mammals, marsupials have babies that are very tiny, like jelly beans. These tiny newborns are incredibly underdeveloped at birth, and they must make a remarkable journey to their mother's pouch immediately after being born. These little babies crawl into their mom's pouch. This journey is a critical part of their development, as the pouch provides a safe haven where they can continue to grow and develop. The pouch is safe and warm, and has milk for the baby to grow bigger. The mother's pouch is equipped with teats that provide the necessary nutrients for the joey to thrive. This unique adaptation ensures that the young marsupial has everything it needs to survive in its early stages of life. Kangaroos, wallabies, koalas, and wombats are all marsupials. Each of these animals has its own unique characteristics and behaviors that make them well-suited to their specific habitats. Each one has changed over time to live in Australia's different environments. For example, kangaroos are built for speed and endurance, allowing them to cover vast distances in search of food and water. Koalas, on the other hand, have adapted to a more sedentary lifestyle, spending most of their time in eucalyptus trees. The kangaroo, with its strong legs and big tail, is built for running fast across open areas. These powerful limbs not only help them move quickly but also serve as a means of defense against predators. The koala, with its special tummy, can eat eucalyptus leaves that are poisonous to other animals. This specialized diet allows them to thrive in environments where other animals might struggle to find food. The koala's digestive system has evolved to detoxify the harmful chemicals in eucalyptus leaves, making them a perfect food source for these tree-dwelling marsupials. Even older than marsupials are monotremes. These fascinating creatures have been around for millions of years long before many other types of mammals evolved. Their existence provides a unique glimpse into the early stages of mammalian evolution. These amazing animals are like a connection to the very first mammals. They bridge the gap between the ancient and the modern, showing us how life has evolved over eons. Monotremes are living fossils, a direct link to our planet's distant past. Monotremes are the only mammals that lay eggs. This unique reproductive strategy sets them apart from all other mammals. The eggs are leathery, much like those of reptiles, and are incubated outside the mother's body until they hatch. But they also have milk for their babies. Unlike other mammals, monotremes do not have nipples. Instead, the milk is secreted through specialized mammary glands and absorbed through the skin or fur of the young. This unusual method of feeding is another fascinating aspect of their biology. Australia has two monotremes, the platypus and the echidna. These two species are unique to the region and have adapted to their environments in remarkable ways. They are a testament to the diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. 
The platypus, with its duck-like bill, webbed feet and thick fur, is really special. Its bill is not just for show, it is a highly sensitive organ capable of detecting electrical signals produced by the movements of its prey. This makes the platypus an excellent hunter in its aquatic habitat. It hunts for food in rivers, using its bill to find the tiny electrical signals of its prey. This method of hunting is highly effective, allowing the platypus to locate and capture small aquatic animals even in murky waters. Its diet mainly consists of insects, larvae, and small crustaceans. The echidna, covered in spines, looks like a walking pincushion. These spines are actually modified hairs, providing the echidna with a formidable defense against predators. Despite their prickly appearance, echidnas are gentle creatures that play a crucial role in their ecosystems, it uses its long, sticky tongue to eat ants and termites. The echidna's tongue can extend up to 18 centimeters, allowing it to reach deep into ant nests and termite mounds. This specialized feeding technique helps control insect populations, making the echidna an important part of its habitat. These shy creatures show us how ancient animals can still survive today. Despite the many changes our planet has undergone, monotremes have managed to endure, adapting to their environments while retaining many primitive characteristics. They are a living testament to the resilience of life and the enduring legacy of our planet's evolutionary history. The skies and forests of Australia are full of amazing birds. From the laughing kookaburras to the colorful parrots, Australian birds are amazing. The emu, the second biggest bird in the world, walks across grasslands. Its strong legs carry it far to find food and water. The cassowary, a big bird that can't fly, with a funny bump on its head, lives in the rainforests. And then there are the parrots, so many colors and sounds. From tiny budgies to big cockatoos, parrots make Australia even more colorful. Section 5. Scaled Survivors, Reptiles of the Outback Australia is famous for its reptiles and for a good reason. There are tons of snakes, lizards, crocodiles and turtles. Many of these animals have developed amazing ways to live in Australia's tough environments. The thorny devil lizard, with its spiky body and camouflage, is a master of hiding in the desert. It can even drink water through its skin. Australia also has the biggest reptiles alive saltwater crocodiles. These scary predators hide in rivers, their strong jaws and tough skin showing how old they are. Section 6, Beneath the Waves, Marine Marvels. Australia's oceans are just as amazing as its land. The Great Barrier Reef is the biggest coral reef in the world. It's over 1,400 miles long and it's full of life. Whales swim along Australia's coasts and dolphins play in the water. Sharks swim in the deep and sea turtles swim through the coral. From tiny plankton to giant whales, Australia's ocean life shows how everything is connected. Section 7, On the Brink Endangered Species Sadly, many of Australia's amazing animals are in trouble. Loss of homes, new predators and climate change are hurting Australia's animals. Animals like the koala are losing their homes and getting sick. The Tasmanian devil, only found on the island of Tasmania, is threatened by a disease. Things are bad, but there's still hope. By teaching people, protecting homes for animals, and helping conservation, we can help these animals survive. Section 8. Conservation Efforts, Protecting Australia's Wildlife Australians know they need to protect their special animals. Conservation groups and the government are working hard to help endangered species. National parks protect big areas, giving animals safe places to live. Breeding programs are helping animal populations grow. Teaching people about these animals helps everyone appreciate Australia's nature. Section 9. Conclusion a call to action. Australia's animals are important, showing us how powerful evolution is. Their survival depends on us. We all need to do our part to protect these creatures and their homes. By living sustainably, reducing our impact and supporting conservation, we can make sure future generations see these amazing animals. Australia's wildlife is a gift, a treasure we need to protect forever.